Good night, good night, good night. Um, I'm not sure if nobody I got to take bus, anybody else I got to take bus tonight for go home. But right off Waltham, no bus not supposed to go off Waltham. I experienced the worst tragedy a while ago. The bus with me, they now come home a while ago, right? They get ambushed by 12 gunmen. A lucky thing say, the bus driver could have drive and reverse out of the, out of the, the impact just in time for everybody on the bus safe. The man them nearly lift light up the bus. I tell you, say right off Waltham, they search for the, for the, the post office there. Nobody no drive there, so no bus at all. Man, who can say no this to whosoever? No bus no drive there, so none at all. If you can make other rest of people know whosoever I go up on Waltham, no, no bus drive there, so. Because them needed the bus for me there, na, if the if short hombre they could drive, everybody in the bus. I'm me, me sure of that. As some long piece of gun the man them they have a while ago. Trust me, everybody have to dive off on the ground. And the girl in my bus had a boss, they nearly. It. But lucky thing, so the hombre could have drive me, I tell him, but escape with life still. Ja ja. On the spot news media, we got the latest news. We don't care about the views, we just representing right. Put local news internationally every night. On the spot, wave that Jamaican flag from left to right. Let's get it right, y'all know the type. We ain't dealing with the hype. We make it take flight. Yeah, man, my viewers and subscribers, what a go on, a blessed and wonderful Wednesday morning to each and every person out there tuning in to On The Spot News Media. Now, you don't know how we do it over on this side each and every morning, my peeps. We have to give thanks and praise to the Most High Creator for the preservation of life because life is indeed the greatest and without life, we definitely have no hope. So let's not take life for granted. Let's respect life and treat it as such. Yeah, man. So this morning, I'm here telling my peeps, on a listen to the voice clip the before the intro. It come like them old dirty kind of boy sick in them head and then drink mad puss piss or something. As it comes on to Christmas, it come like the man there hungry and them will stop at nothing for take your little loot. I saw the thing set right and now I'm here telling my peeps. So you have to be careful whilst you traverse the streets. Members of John Public, me are telling you, safe travel, pan the gravel because the old dirty kind of boy them are lurks. Yeah, man. So this morning, we are going to look upon a series of issues we are going up in the papine area there. A part of the St. Andrew Central Police Division. So in recent days, the police has listed three persons of interest not three normal little people you know believe me the money are real top corner boy in the thing so the three men are as follows kenry hibbert otherwise known as stray d desry phipps otherwise known as number and everybody supposed to know this name by now because he was a close affiliate of Dagpa, turn enemy, friends turn enemy type of thing. And he was also charged with the same set of offenses that land Dagpa behind bars. And he was also freed the same time from behind bars when Dagpa was released. His name is Micah Allen. So the police are saying that they want to speak to these men in relation to a flare up of violence in the Papine Mona Commons area. The police is saying that they believe that these persons can greatly assist them in their continuous fight against the lawlessness that is being unfolding in that police space. So right now we are gonna feature these individuals and on the spot news media to try and find out who are they really so for those who don't know the community of Mona Commons, Mona Commons and quote-unquote Mona is separate and apart from each other. Mona is the kind of sort of upscale community up that side and Mona Common now where they're right across from the University of the West Indies at the garrison part, the Bodos and zinc fence part, the place where you have a whole heap of trappy, whole heap of strappy. Yeah, man, may I tell you. So, 
Kenroy Hibbert, otherwise known as Strady. This is a picture of Strady. Strady is the one that has the white towel over his head and of course in a t-shirt that says Vendetta. So when I hear the word Vendetta, who first comes to mind? Of course, your favorite DJ, the Vendetta Boss, which is known as Alkaline. So now this is a picture with Alkaline and Stray D along with some others. This picture was taken from a music video. So for those who know Alkaline music video, after all, he was featured in that music video. Alkaline and Strady, of course, is close affiliates. Hence the reason why he's in the video. As we all know, our Jamaican hardcore dancehall artist always take on a persona of badmanism, so to speak. Yeah, man, gangster lifestyle. So them always try to associate themselves with the quote-unquote real gangsters, a.k.a. old dirty kind of boy. For sure say, yo, them have street credibility because them link with this man or that man. Hence the reason why they are featured in their music videos. So it's a plight for sure, John Public say, yo, me tough as an artist. So that music video was shot in Mona Common with Stray D and his affiliates. So basically, that is telling us one thing, that Stray D is a done. Obviously. So Stray D controls one part of Mona Kaman. That section of Mona Kaman is also called the top section or top Kaman. So Stray D run off Dalika section there. Because as small as the Mona Kaman community is, it holds three separate dance. Boy, may I tell you, the kind of boy them type of living is totally, totally hideous. But anyway, we are going to feature this other one here, what them call Number. Unfortunately, I don't have a picture for Number. Number is a known contract, knackis and clappies. If you want to get out a man, he is Number One. Hence the name, Number. Yeah, man. Is a brother who will walk up on you brawling as long as the price is right and slap your way quick and fast without hesitation. So number is the Dan for middle command. I will also be making reference to one of numbers contract hits. You remember this little brother here in a puppy in square where number walk up and clap him away and accused him of stealing cars number was the man the hit man we carry out the hit and the brother with them call philip nelson so for those who comes from that area can definitely drop some comments in the comment section to say yeah or nay about that last of life that number carried out that hit on last but not least even though he was not mentioned on the person of interest list. He goes by the name of Souty. Now Souty controls bottom common. And he is the done for that little faction. We will not expound much on Souty because he was not among the three all dirty kind of boy them listed as persons of interest. So on your screen now is a blog that I did some time ago on Christopher Dark Paul Linton versus Micah Allen is one time friend that became enemies so if you need to know more about Micah Allen and the Dark Paul story you can watch that blog and get yourself more familiar and come back to this one so you can understand how everything tie in so for those who have never seen a picture of Micah Allen this picture right before your very eyes right now is Micah Allen 
one of his most recent pictures. So, Michael Allen is the done for a section that them call Dallas Castle, that are up in the hills. Dallas Castle, Constitution Hill, and all of them places that can carry you back to St. Thomas, Cain Peace, and all those places. So, that are Michael Allen territory. Michael Allen is a strong man, as everybody already know. Michael Allen has the connections. Michael Allen has the financial backing and the financial power to get things done if needs be. You remember an incident that took place at Uwe Backgate where a brother with him called Mark Allen did get can up a real hatted youth. Well, Mark Allen is the brother of Michael Allen. And when Michael Allen did in a dark park gang, you know, real hatted youth, you know, real sneaking because him look cool, calm and collective, seem like him can mash hands. But for those who come from that area, when you remember the youth of them called Cassie, where them got kick off him door and slap him with, yeah man, I'm pretending that they were police officers. Yeah man, you know, must remember the incident there for those who come from that area. He did that. Because it is said that Cassie can up his brother Mark Allen over you about gate there. So, so my peeps, I want to drop some comments in the comment section as it relates to the information that I'm giving right now to say yeah or nay to it. And the one with them call Stray D, we're going to go back to him right now. Because it is said that he himself is also a contract knackis and clappis. Yeah, man. Him always de in the community of Jungle 12. Because it is said that Jungle 12, Micah Allen and Stray D has formed a powerful alliance. Yeah, man. So right now, up a papi in the so. Nah, go on good. And a beer darkness. The man they are pre. The alliance was definitely formed to get out Dark Pa out of the game because as you know, Michael Allen had become Dark Pa's arch enemy. Yeah man, real friend turns enemies type of situation came out of that. So now my peeps, we are going to feature this brother with them call Iron. I will not show his picture for this blog and this blog only because sometimes you have to give some people time to redeem themselves. And point out them wrongdoings or them shortcomings so them can look into themselves and say, you know, say, a real thing me need for really take a step back. So that is my attempt right now. Many people are gonna say, Iran a good youth, Iran no mix up, Iran no involve, Iran and them just grew up together, or him and them are just friends and whatsoever the case may be. But it is said that you are funding their criminal organization. And who am I referring to? I'm speaking about Micah Allen's criminal network. It is said that you are closely knitted to these men using the earnings from your coffee industry to pump into their criminal industry. And this is definitely giving them a boost for continue the gang war that is currently going on in the papine space. Some of peeps, given the fact that Underspot News Media knows these intricate details about these men, I'm pretty sure the police have this information and a whole lot more. So I'm wondering why the police is using a soft approach, naming them as persons of interest and asking them to report to the police by a certain time. My peeps, on a serious note, these men are not just persons of interest. These men are what we would deem as terrorists. These men run criminal networks, criminal organizations. So I think that the police should be going at them hard. But then again, probably one of the reasons why the police is taking this softer approach is simply because... One of Jamaica's biggest problem, too much politics mixed up with crime and violence. 
And Michael Allen is a well-known person who is very, very connected with the political underworld. So my peeps, sometimes we may see the police act a certain way. Sometimes we definitely have to give them the benefit of the doubt because them know how dung in the pipeline they run, how it murky and dirty. And them know say if them take a certain approach, them might get a negative backlash through the hands of politics because we all know that certain post that is held in the police is a politically appointed post. So of course, too much politics in the police force, too much politics in the army, and that is what is causing a lot of what you see happening right now. The long-lasting close relationship with politics and crime and violence. Trust me, this has been happening from the inception up until today. Crime and violence and politics wrap up together, having a threesome in a one bed. I tell you my peeps, the only time I see politics step in and get rid of criminal elements is when it start up a negative backlash upon them politics. Yeah man, we can name a few. We can name Christopher Dodos Cook. We can name Zeke's. We can name Bulby. Where them slap with a Spanish town or the police, them clap with a Spanish town. Yeah man, even though it didn't take place in Spanish town, we know say is a little section in a Clarendon. It go on. But just to name a few that in the name of politics, they were take note. In the name of politics, a one time done. Well, let me correct myself because he's still one of the top man them in a PN land over the high rise section with them call Walker Man. You remember back in the days when him and the farmer MP for that era they jump off wicked, whole heap of disrespect they go on. Quick and fast, Walker Man find himself in a workhouse down a GP. And as soon as he apologized to the powers that be, he was released. Yeah, man, released. No, Walker Man is living in the United States of America. Just so. A Walker Man is a known criminal gangster, a known violence producer. But just to show you how politics and crime and violence having their threesomes from the beginning of time to present, still having them threesome, them intricate love affair and members of John Public always I get the negative backlash from that. But anyway, my peeps, remember to like, share, subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned to One Spot News Media as I continue to bring you fresh news and updates in subsequent newscasts. On the spot. News media. Yeah, man.